Hey everyone, just wanted to make a quick video on a couple different seat options for the Suron. Um, as many of you know, the stock seat that comes on this bike is not the most comfortable seat ever. So um, I recently bought a Luna float seat and uh, also ordered a uh, Racebeck Suron rear fender. Kept on getting splashed in the back with mud and wetness. so. Um, decided to go with a bigger fender too. So this is a stock seat. Um, I've already taken out all the rivets and bolts and so this should pop right out. So after getting the stock seat off I decided to put the Luna seat on just in place to see what it looks like. And this is what we're looking at. Looks pretty good. It's a nice seat. It's definitely way more comfortable than the original seat. Um, one thing that I just didn't particularly care for, and it's just me being picky, but i um, not a big fan of the red stitching um, until I found out the next seat that I'm going to show you guys that I got um, that I'm actually going to be installing, but I wanted to show you all what the float seat looked like on the bike. The other thing I don't, didn't like about this in particular, and once again it's me being picky, is just the amount of rise that this seat has over the... Um, over the top of the uh, battery cover. Not a huge deal, and it really wouldn't have been a big deal to me uh, unless I found the seat that I actually did find, which I'm pretty stoked on, so I'll show you what that looks like next. But um, a lot of people had been complaining that their, that their Luna wasn't nice and straight, but it looks like mine was pretty good, so not enough to complain about anyway, so. That's what it looks like with the Luna float seat. And I'll show you the seat that I got. Well, this is what it looks like with the seat that I'm actually gonna use. Um, there's a guy that's custom making them on eBay. Um, I'm not even sure his name, but um, as you can see, this seat um, is completely all black, minus the little Italian flag in the back. Um, it's really tiny though. It's like a carbon fiber look on top. and. Uh, you can see where it meets up to the uh, the battery cover. It's pretty nice and even, and there's still a lot of cush on the seat. So you can see where it kind of wraps around and down, just make it more comfortable all the way around. Got the race spec Suron fender on it, and uh, just a nice little view from the top. Definitely wider. Kind of an oval shaped a little bit but definitely huge improvement over the stock seat just a really nice look really stoked on it so that is the seat that's the one i'm using i'm probably going to hold on to the luna float seat just in case this one rips and i can't get another one but um really awesome seat i will uh make another video and let you guys know what i think about it thanks for watching show you guys some of the mods I've done to the bike. Uh, most of them have been done just mainly to uh, be more comfortable on the bike and some for performance. Um, I'll take you through some of the things that I've done so far. So the first thing that I did when I got the bike was I got new foot pegs. These are the RMZ foot pegs. I think it's around 2010 um, RMZ foot pegs and uh, they provide a way wider platform and they're super nice um, they were pretty cheap on eBay I think they were like $23 so highly recommend to get some new foot pegs for your bike if you uh, are in need of a little bit better platform to sit and they come with these lugs too that um, give you a lot better traction on it and it comes with some replacements as well um, the spring that came with them um, was a little bit different, so I opted to use the same spring that was in the original foot pegs, and uh, it works great. Um, the second thing I did was I got the Luna V1 bash plate. Um, I think it looks awesome um, and works really well. Um, the V2 um, was not in stock when I bought this one. And uh, the V2 does not have this cover plate over the motor, which I don't know if it's really necessary, but 
Um, it was what was in stock at the time. And uh, so that's what I bought, and I think it looks great. Um, works great. I've been over lots of logs and everything too, and um, been pretty happy with it. Um, I will say that I did just recently buy a race spec Suron Pro Bash Plate, and I'll probably end up installing that because um, I think it's better to slide off of things versus to take a brunt impact straight to the um, straight to the motor area. And it just seems like it'll slide a lot better. I just like that idea way better than hitting it with the stainless steel. Um, the next thing I did was I got the Pro Taper three inch rise bars. These are um, really good if you um, just need to raise the bike up a little bit. The stock bars that come with it are really flat and uh, don't give you much room. And so um, I opted to get the stealth version, which just is gray here, not a big deal, but um, this kind of goes with the overall flow of the bike. Um, I do have the stock grips on right now. Um, they were, you know, still really new and figured what the hell I'll just use them up until they're toast. And uh, I also got these Pro Taper pillow top grips, which I'll end up putting on eventually. Um, just other couple things that I want to just mention right off the bat since I'm over here is I did get um, a couple tires, which I'm going to be putting on as soon as these are toast. Um, I got the Pirelli Scorpion. These are all 70, 100 by 19. Um, I've heard it's a great tire. It should be really good. I'm going to use it on the front. You can see the tread pattern. It's pretty wide. Should be good. Yeah, it's an extra soft tire, or medium soft anyways. And then for the back, I got the Kenda Trackmaster. Um, also is the 70-100-19. I think it's a Kenda 760 Trackmaster. So I'm going to be putting that on once again, once the tires are toast. Also got some IRC heavy duty tubes, which I'm debating on whether I want to put on. I don't want to weigh the bike down too much. So we'll just see how that goes. Um, I also got the Shimano Saint um, HO3C disc brake pads. Um, they're semi-metallic, should work a lot better than the ones that come on the bike. The ones that come on the bike are pretty bad, but once again, I'm just gonna use them up until they're unbearable, and then I'll change it out. When I do that, I'm also gonna be changing to the Luna floating rotors. These are the new ones. Um, I think they're, I think they're, they said they're like Japanese rotors. Um, I don't really know, but they also have the titanium bolts, so I'll be putting on the floating rotors on that. Got a really nice kind of like an oil spill look to them. Um, should provide some really good stopping power, which will be really nice in the summer when I'm going down big mountains and um, needing to break a little bit better. Um, I also got a um, direct mount stem that I haven't debated whether I'm going to put it on or not. Um, should be really nice though. I just haven't decided whether I'm going to use it or not. So I wanted to have it just in case and the spacers for it as well because we'll need to cover up the steering tube for that. Um, let's see what else. I also got the race face mud crutch and the reason why I got this is because I was tired of getting sprayed in the face as I was riding by water, mud, and whatnot so I got that for the time being until I find a decent fender. I did find a mucky nuts fender that mounts up right underneath here with zip ties, which I'm not a super big fan of, but I like it better than getting sprayed in the face, so there you go. Uh, it seems to work pretty good so far. Um, let's see. Oh, and uh, let's see, right here I got one of the uh, DB Industries uh, mud flaps. Um, I got this just once again because I got tired of getting sprayed. Um, just completely covered up in mud and, and water. Um, I have the XX and it's pretty damn torquey and uh, I end up getting way dirtier than than my buddy who has a, a regular X um, so that that was a really good idea um, good thing to get I um, also got this new seat which I just put on today um, I got it off eBay there's a guy that's making them 
Um, I don't even I don't even think it, his name was on it, but um, really nice seat. It's uh, definitely a lot thicker, more robust. It's got kind of a carbon fiber seat cover on it. Also got the race spec Suron long fender, and uh, like I said, haven't even gotten a chance to try that out yet. But um, just my initial thoughts are that it seems pretty good, and. Uh, I'll let you guys know what I think about it as time goes on, but this is the bike so far. It's the Luna Ludicrous XX and uh, really been enjoying it so far, so um, I'll keep you guys informed as I do more mods and uh, let you know what I think about it. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to ask and I'll be happy to answer. Thanks and have a good day.